What's going on everybody? Lib Thims here. Today we're going to look at the hieroglyphic symbols behind the word cursed, which in 1883 was defined as the hieroglyph for Christ, which was equated to the anointed Christ Bay mummy shown on the right here from a cemetery in Rome made in 450 AD. So I made this article two years ago in Hmopedia 65 but the image servers are down so the source of this is hard to find. So 12 days ago, FXR Everwu asked me, where did you find the picture glyph for the mummy? And I, off the top of my head, simply said that it's in one of these dozen Gerald Macy books and directed them to the link. So we're gonna clarify that. Firstly, if we look at The hieroglyphic, hieroglyphic Dictionary by Bill Petty from 2012. We see that there are several hieroglyphs related to cursed. We have KRS, meaning barrier or burial. KRSW meaning coffin, cursed meaning burial, and we have burial equipment. So we're going to focus on cursed, which has three different hieroglyphs according to Petty. We also see the Christ child as an Egyptian mummy. Page 437 from the second volume of Macy's Natural Genesis, written in 1883, where he says that the cursed or karast equals Christ, which equals the Egyptian mummy, comes from the Orion or Sahu constellation, symbolic of the risen dead in the stars. And he said it's related to the word incorporate or encorpse. And then the hieroglyph is this for Christ. Made of four symbols, which means embalmed mummy. And it goes on here to talk about how embalming relates to putting oil on the skin. And on page 131, he talks about how it relates to an older African tradition of putting fat or grease to preserve the skin so that the person will have a solid body in the after existence. And he says Christ or Karast is related to an older tradition that relates to the word T-A-N-N as it's called in the Rig Veda or T-A-H-N as it's called in Egypt where the skin is tanned with oil or Greece, and he cites one inscription from hieroglyphs that I have anointed the head that of the god with the oil of the face of Horus. I have filled the eye of Horus with oil. So 
And now I've, you can go to the Christ article in HMOpedia, and we're going to look at the three main hieroglyphs that we have for our cursed. First is Petty, his second hieroglyph. Then we have Petty, the first cursed hieroglyph, which has one, two, three, four, five symbols. And then we have what Mace used, and is cited by Petty as the cursed a third hieroglyph for cursed, which has four hieroglyphs. Now this has been pretty much adopted through what's called underground etymology. For example, Malcolm Hutton in 2017, who's an Egyptian historian, says that cursed as shown carved on the wall here is or means or is described by the five, by the following foul five symbols where the mouse symbol means R, this hill symbol means sounds as KH, this S, which is the shepherd's crook, sounds as S, and the bread loaf symbol sounds as T, and then we have the Osiris burial chest shown here and also shown here. And this is corroborated by, here's Petty's Dictionary, which we just looked at. So we have the main symbol here is the first one. And but there's the second symbol for cursed and there's the third hieroglyphic word for cursed in Egyptian hieroglyphs. So the first easiest symbol here is this one, Petty Cursed H2. We see the Osiris burial chest here, and then we see the bread loaf. Where this comes from, there is the Osiris burial chest, and here's what it looks like. So Osiris is trapped in the chest by his brother Set, and later he regrows into a tree. And after that, he is found again by Set. He's chopped into 14 pieces, thrown into the Nile, and each, and each piece is sort of is symbolic of crops. So the crop, Osiris is a green colored god, and so the crops grow into bread. So if we look at Cyrus, we see is a green, and he's the god of flood, planting, and harvest. So first Nile floods, and then it leaves behind Kim, which is the root word of, it's carried down by the Ethiopian floodlands, it's a fertile black soil. Egyptians plant their, plant their crops, and then the crops that grow are considered the body of Osiris, where the bread comes from. Thus we have the simplest hieroglyph for cursed is the Osiris chest, which turns into bread. Now Macy says that cursed comes from these four symbols, which he derives from first Jean Champollion's hieroglyphic dictionary and
Samuel Birch in 1838 wrote a sketch of a hierographical dictionary building on Jean Champollion. So Macy cites both these people and he says that cursed means mummy, whence cast means to embalm, to bandage, to knot, or to make mummy or caressed, which, and of course, Osiris was the first mummy. And this gets carried over into the Christ mummy here. So this image is shown here. And it comes from the cemetery of St. Valentinus. Uh, that is Pope Julius. It's the baby Jesus as a mummy. And this was made in 450 AD. And this is the visitation, Madonna and child. So the first symbol here I'm going to go through all the symbols so we can get this straight. K is supposedly the symbol of a mound. And shown by this shape here. Or the far left shape. Top left shape on the hieroglyph here. And means mound or hillcock, which is shown here on the bottom as the two main symbols for K in Egyptian. Now we note that the word for Egypt originally is Kemet. And it and Egypt is the first place where the mound originally arose, which supposedly was in Heliopolis. And the sound for the hieroglyph for Kemet is the crocodile scale. And of course we know croc is phonetically is similar to Christ. Next we have the R symbol. And that is the hieroglyph of a mouth. And it can be read as or pronounced Ra, Re, R, Er. Whence K plus R gets our first two letters of Christ. And supposedly this is connected to the god Ra through Greek ciphers. And Ra or Atamra is the first god in the Heliopolis creation myth. And his first act of creation is to spit out Shu and Tefnut. So out of his mouth. So if we go to the Heliopolis creation myth, here we see Ra Atam spitting out Shu and Tefnut or air and moisture out of his mouth. So that's where the word R comes from, supposedly. Next, we are going to go to the Let's take a look here, the S symbol. So on this hieroglyph, this is the S symbol, and the first hieroglyph of cursed, according to Petty. So we've covered a cage. R is the mouth. S is the shepherd's crook. And then this comes from, it's, a, it's one of the two main symbols of Osiris. He's got his flail and his shepherd's crook. So the idea here is that, in, just as the, the case was in Egypt, or the religion, Osiris becoming Jesus in the rescript, or specifically Osiris Horus, we have Jesus holding an Osiris scepter, and we see that in Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So the idea is that 
the Christians are like sheep who need a shepherd to guide them in their ways, just like it would have been in Egypt, Osiris being the shepherd for the Egyptians with his religious models. However, the etymology for the S is a bit more complex because we also know that S is the symbol for Sarah or Isis, the, the wife sister of Osiris, which comes from the star Sirius. So there's some sort of astrotheology behind this that we haven't yet figured out. The second symbol for S is this symbol, which supposedly is looks like two things clasping, possibly two hands or something I don't understand. And that is one of the symbols for S used by Macy in the first connection that cursed equals Christ. So if we go to Penn's Dictionary, we see that both the shepherd's crook and this connective symbol are synonyms for either she, her, it, or its. And the shepherd's crook by itself is S as a causative prefix. So now we are going to cover the third symbol. The T sound. So the bread loaf symbols supposedly means T in Egyptian hieroglyphs. And this is not fully worked out how this means T, but we note that Keem is the black soil that grows the crops which make the bread and that the hieroglyph for Egypt shown here is Kemet where we see the bread loaf which makes the tea of Kemet and Presumably, the, the loaf symbol is somehow related to the Greek tau and the Greek alpha because the Greeks all traveled to Egypt and they visited all the temples at Heliopolis and Memphis or the colleges there and the whole Greek alphabet is based on these hieroglyphs. So if we go to the Supposedly, it's, the T symbol is going to be explained by this number 300. And we've worked out that a little bit in terms of the Jesus towel cross here and that IH equals 18 tau equals 300 added together equals 318 which is the isopsephy cipher for theta and also the Greek word for helios. So supposedly the T is bound up in the, this Greek cipher which is not fully worked out. So we've covered the K sound, R sound, S sound, T sound. And the last symbol here is the Cyrus chest plus this clasp symbol plus 
in raised form and bread. And this is studied by Macy and Perry as the sign of the cursed. So this is a forearm raised. Supposedly this could mean either that the Isis, which is this S symbol, raises Osiris as the Orion constellation in the sky. And that's about all for right now. Hope you enjoyed this quick summary of where the word Christ comes from.